automating 3D printing usually looks something like this. Cobots on the outside of the machine, tending the printer, swapping the build plates in and out, but it doesn't necessarily have to be this way. In this case, most of the automation is actually built in. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media. I'm here at Formnext 2024, standing in the photocentric booth next to their Jenny production system. This is a modular platform for high volume serial production with a whole lot of automation happening on the inside as well as the outside. Let's check out what's going on. So Photocentric is a supplier of 3D printers based on LCD resin 3D printing. Uh, usually those printers are supplied standalone, but with the Jenny system, they are now going to be provided in a modular fashion. So each one of these modules um, has 12 different stations inside. You can customize the number of printers versus wash, cure, and rinse stations according to your application. So if you're building lots of tiny parts that don't take very long, maybe you need a lot of wash and cure stations to keep up with that production. Whereas if you're building fewer, larger parts, maybe you want a whole lot more 3D printers and just enough post-processing capacity to keep up with that. Each of the stations within the module um, is tended by a gantry that enables uh, swapping the build plates in and out. Uh, one gantry can tend more than a dozen of these modules placed side by side like this. Um, each module itself is just 12 stations arranged in this three by four pattern. And then on the other side of the wall, you saw the cobots demonstrating how uh, parts could then be unloaded from this system after all those other steps, the, the washing, curing, printing, rinsing are all complete. One advantage of doing production with a system like this is redundancy. Um, in this case, each one of these stations is hot swappable. So if you're having difficulty with one printer or one wash station, you could pull it out, make repairs, swap it without interrupting all of your production. But the real advantage of a modular production system like this is the ability to do high volume serial manufacturing, maybe to compete with injection molding. So for example, Photocentric says that one of these modules that's been tuned to this application could produce up to 3 million dental arches per year. Now, if you went for an even smaller, tinier component, say something that you could pack up to 690 of onto a build plate, you could increase that number even higher. For example, Photocentric manufactured 300,000 of these tiny standoff components in just four hours with one of these modules. If you'd like to learn more about polymer 3D printing as an alternative to injection molding, or more about additive manufacturing technology developments like this one, follow additivemanufacturing.media.